Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mike. I'm Marcus. And we're here with Pull Up Visuals and we're gonna break down the music video we shot for the homie Jay Sh Finally found me a baby, I just wanna listen. Tell me about it, it's hard to find somebody with good intentions. I, I wasn't waiting, I knew what I wanted, but I didn't wanna settle. When talking to Jay about coming up with the concept for the video, she already had the concept in mind. She was like, I wanna do like a flavor of love. Flavor of love is the only example I could think of and was the most uh prominent example that she gave when she was telling me about it. So Jay, she referenced the Ariana Grande music video as in she wanted to have scenes in her music video that weren't necessarily the music video. So like we cut the song and stop the song and we go to the scene and then we go back to the music video. So uh, you can see that we did that a couple times in the shoot. For the better video, it's really just Jay, she, she needs a new man <laughs> and she has like a whole competition or a whole like show like Yeah, like a date atmosphere. show kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, like a contest almost, like she's picking like who's better based off a of certain attribute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, based off of certain attributes and yeah, that's the main idea for the video and I'm pretty sure we definitely accomplished, accomplished that in the video. Usually when you're filming a music video, you're not worried about recording audio or dialogue or anything, but in this music video where we have scenes, and different scenes where different things are being said, we made sure that we had a mic on our camera. So the mic on the camera is recording the dialogue in front of us. On higher budget shoots, you'll probably even have an audio guy, um, like with a mixer, he'll be watching all the levels and everything, going around with a boom. But on this set, we just put the camera on the mic on our FS7, it auto levels it for us. So it makes it easy for us to focus on shooting and lighting and being efficient with our time while capturing clean audio so so uh, when you're shooting music videos and you have like a location like we only had like that one room and we had to create the whole concept and execute that the one whole room. concept <laughs> just in that one little space you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying it wasn't little I'm just saying it's just one room and you know four corners and um, you got to maximize the space yeah you got to maximize the space so uh, how I think we maximized uh, our space is that uh, the beginning scene that we have with uh, Jay and her friend on the couch uh, that was the one corner of the room. That's how we know we shot that one corner of the room. And then for the contest, for the part where she's at the table and she's uh, judging all the guys and everything, that's another, just another part of the room. Then you have the performance shot with the little cloud light in front of it. That cloud light was already there. And I was like, that looks cool for the for like a nice performance shot. Uh, take a break from like all the other things. All that the we serious have. contest stuff. And yeah. Like dating stuff, you can go yeah. to something completely So, different. you know, that's another shot, and it looks like it's just different from all the other shots. You know, it's really about, like, looking at the space you have and trying to pick uh, a perfect spot for uh, each scene that you want to do. Just so mm -hmm. it looks just, just different enough where you're like, okay, this is a new, this is a new thing. Uh, we use the Ronin a lot for this video because, uh, you know, like, in these talk shows, or not these talk shows, but, like, these competitive shows, these Flavor of Love-esque shows. Chopped. Chop. <laughs> no, for real, chop. You know how like they have the like the lineup and everybody lines up and, and they're about to get judged by, and then you see the room. sweeping like wide shot that goes, you know, that wraps around the room and it wraps around the judges and it wraps around the contestants and it's all dramatic and, sh and stuff like that. Yeah, so the, we want we really want to recreate those shots, like capture that uh, emotion of like dramatic. So that's why you see uh, yeah, like the, the slow push into the face. I mean, well, the quick push into the face, mm -hmm. the slow pans left and right across the whole lineup. Yeah, you know, we do uh, think about how we want to light things and like we do think about like colors and everything, but you know, I saw the space and I kind of knew I wanted to have like a clean look, a clean like just nice soft look for all the normal stuff. So to achieve that, we just, I do this thing that I t stole from one of my teachers when I was back in school. And, um, but uh, well, all we do is uh, we have our light storm and then we have our Dracast. I don't remember the name of the model right off the top of my head, but we have them both balanced to daylight and they're both shooting through a sheet of diffusion. And what that does is it takes those two sources and it makes it one bigger source, which the diffusion becomes the new source. So it takes those two lights, shoot it through the diffusion. The diffusion is the new source of light. So you have a nice, big yeah. light on a low budget. You have a giant light. Yeah, big, nice, soft source. And that's what we use mainly for the intro, the judges, Jason friend, Sorry, I don't remember the friend's name. 
uh, and the guys when they walk in and that's and that's why that light spreads across everybody so evenly as well that's why I wanted to be a nice bigger source mm -hmm. just so it was even across everyone instead of even for one person and then the person next to them is like looks a little different you know what I'm saying I'm pretty sure we were just circling through colors on our LED stick which has like full RGB we we're circling through colors and we found a color and we were like this is good well like Mike was like this is good so then we used it for like every shot after that <laughs> yeah so we just we just um, emulated we have some gels so we had some gels on the stronger lights and then yeah I'm pretty sure we use like uh, pink or purplish yeah uh, a pink purplish magenta ish kind of yeah. color and I just remember like I was so dead set on the whole uh, big source uh, normal setup that I wasn't even thinking about how like this is still a music video and how we can use color uh, we were on set and I just got I had a new idea which is to use color for the performance uh, for the performance scenes and for the scenes when um, uh, Cedric I remember his name <laughs> yeah. when Cedric wins the competition and you see the performance scene with, between him and Jaish and you have them like looking at each other with the background like yeah, I just, just flipped a shot yeah, I just wanted to use like color and like switch it up just a little bit since it was the performance scenes and it, it, just to make those scenes pop just a little bit more than all the other stuff that you have going on. Just so everything looks a little different, um, more contrasty, more uh, bold shadows are in it, and it has uh, more atmosphere, I think. So yep. when you're on set, don't be afraid to try out new ideas because say you're focused, too focused on one thing, still try to be open to any ideas that come from your crew members or even the artists, usually they everybody has good ideas, so just take everything in and try to come up with the best idea possible. What he said. So, like we always say, if you like us, if you learn anything from this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. The link to the video, the actual music video we're breaking down, be in will description. be in, in the description below. Do that again. And I do have like a certain kind of like, Wiz? I think Wiz would like to say something to you guys. <laughs> so what did you have to say to the people, Izzy? Wise words. Wise words. Peace. <laughs>